I asked from OpenAI ChatGPT to develop a complete game in Angular. The results amazed me. So what's going on YouTube today? We're going to be looking at the world's top trending and revolutionary topic, ChatGPT. So let's get started. A few days back, OpenAI made a game-changing move in the world of artificial intelligence with the launch of chat gpt in just a few days this innovative ai model gained over 1 million of users setting a new world record so what is this chat gpt chat gpt is an amazing language processing system from open ai that can generate text just like a human and have natural language conversations it's really versatile and can complete task answer questions and even do creative writing. Basically, it's an ultra advanced chatbot that knows a ton of stuff. If you want to find out something, just chat with ChatGPT and you will get the information you need. So, for example, you could ask ChatGPT about the weather in a specific location and it would give you a detailed forecast. Or you could ask it to recommend a good book to read and it would provide a list of options based on your preferences. The possibilities are really endless with ChatGPT. As an Angular developer, I was really excited to find out how OpenAI's ChatGPT could improve my workflow. So I gave it a try and asked ChatGPT to help me to develop a simple game using the Angular framework. The results were amazing. I was able to complete the game in just a few minutes with ChatGPT's help. Not only did it save me hours of work, but it also boosted my productivity significantly. I'm sure you are curious about how I was able to use ChatGPT to develop the game so quickly. Well, let's dive in and take a closer look at the process. To get started with ChatGPT, just search for it on Google and go to the first link. On this page, you will find all the information you need to use ChatGPT, including technical details and instructions. To use the tool, you will need to create an account by clicking on this Try ChatGPT button and then go to this Sign Up. If you already have an account, you can just log in with your existing login information. To create a new account, you have a couple of options. You can use your email to sign up or you can authenticate using a Google or Microsoft account. So let's say you want to use a Google account. Just select your email and confirm it. Then enter your name. So guys, during the sign up process, you will also need to provide a working phone number. And don't forget to select your correct country code. So after you do this, ChatGPT will send an OTP to your phone, which you will need to enter to complete the registration process. Once you have signed up successfully, you will be taken to the ChatGPT dashboard where you can start using the tool. In here, um, I'll change this to dark mode. Actually, you can toggle the dark mode from here. On the right side, we can see the some useful links and from this, we can start a new conversation. So guys, now let's see if we can use ChatGPT to help us develop a word scramble game in Angular. So I'm going to ask from ChatGPT Hey ChatGPT, can you assist me in creating a word scramble game? Look at this. In just a few seconds, ChatGPT has provided us with a step-by-step -step guide for developing an Angular word scramble game. I was really surprised by how quickly ChatGPT was able to do this. It is a truly revolutionary technology in the world of AI. It's just perfect. Look at this response. Its tone is very friendly and helpful, right? So this is provided some steps for doing the Angular World Scramble game. So these steps included creating an Angular app using the Angular CLI and setting up the basic structure and so on. However, no actual code was provided. So now let's ask ChatGPT if it can write the code for us, considering my skill level as a beginner. We'll also ask it to incorporate the Tailwind CSS library into the design. 
So now I'm interested to see how ChatGPT can assist a beginner in developing this application and also if it is able to use third party libraries like Tailwind CSS. I'll send this message to ChatGPT and see what it can do. Can you help me to write the full codes? Consider me as a beginner. And for the design, use the Tailwind CSS. And guys, another thing, it's important to note that ChatGPT has the ability to remember previous response and provide relevant answers based on our chat history. As you can see here, ChatGPT has started writing the code for our Angular Word Scramble game. It has provided the component name, HTML code, and component logic code within the components TypeScript file. It has also included the Tailwind CSS classes in the code. If you look at this closer, we can see that ChatGPT has written two functions, check guess and scramble word. However, it has only provided code for the check guess function. It has not written any code for the scramble word function. So below the code, ChatGPT has provided explanation for the written code. These explanations are helpful for beginners as they clarify the purpose and functionality of the code. So now let's ask ChatGPT to write the full code for the game and see what it comes up with. It will be interesting to see how ChatGPT can assist us in completing the development of this application. Look at this guys. ChatGPT has begun writing the full code for our word scramble game. It started with the HTML code and added the necessary Tailwind CSS classes. It's impressive how ChatGPT is able to incorporate these classes into the code. It's awesome, right? So next it wrote the code for the functions. It declared the variables and provided the code for both the check guess and scramble words functions. At the bottom of the code, ChatGPT has also provided explanations for the written code. This is helpful for understanding the purpose and functionalities of the various elements in the code. Now guys, let's see if these codes are actually working or not. To do this, we'll first create a new Angular app using the Angular CLI. I'm assuming that you guys already know how to do this, right? So I created a new Angular app using the Angular CLI and I open it inside the VS Code editor. I'm not going to create a separate component for this. I'll just copy and paste the code into the app component file. So first I'll copy the HTML code and paste it into the app component HTML file. We are getting some compile errors cause there are no methods and variables declared in the components TypeScript file. So I'll add the code from ChatGPT into the app component TypeScript file. As you can see here, ChatGPT generated the code and included comments to explain what each part of the code is doing. I remove the title variable and copy and paste the variables and the functions. The comments made this code a little bit noisy, so I will remove them. So now this is look less noisy and understandable, right? So next in the app component HTML file, we are getting another error on the ng model directive. This is cause we haven't imported the forms module in the app module right so let's see if chat gpt can identify this error and provide a solution so i copied the error and asked about it in the chat gpt conversation as you can see here chat gpt gave me the reason for the error and provided a solution we need to import the forms module in the app module it even gave me the sample code how to do this so as you can see ChatGPT is a great tool for developers. We can use it to fix code, bugs and errors. It's amazing to see how ChatGPT can assist us in this way. Alright, so now let's add the forms module import to fix these errors. Now that the errors are gone. So now let's run this app. So we can run the app using the angular CLI command ng serve. So after this completed, go to the browser. In the browser, navigate to the default URL of the angular app localhost colon 4200. 
Here we have our Angular Word Scramble app. The CSS styles are not applied yet, but we'll fix that in a minute. As you can see, this is the Word Scramble app. The Scramble word here is test. If we type the correct answer in the text box and hit enter, we get correct feedback. If we provide an incorrect word, we get incorrect feedback. All the main functions of this word scramble game are working without any problems. Wow, ChatGPT developed a word scramble game without any errors and the AI generated code is valid and accurate. So we didn't have to write a single line of code for this. Can you imagine the power of the ChatGPT model? Awesome, right? So guys, there is a problem here. The Tailwind CSS styles are not working. ChatGPT provided the HTML structure with the Tailwind CSS classes, but they are not being applied to the design. So in order to fix this, we need to install and configure Tailwind CSS in our Angular project. Detailed instruction for this can be found in the Tailwind CSS official documentation. So I'll speed up this process. Once the installation is done, save everything and go to the browser. This is what our word scramble game currently looks like. So now let's make it more attractive by adding some colors. I want to make the background blue and the feedback message text to red. So I asked ChatGPT to make the background blue and set the message text to red. As you can see, ChatGPT has rewritten the HTML code with our new design specification. It has added the BG Blue 500 class to make the background blue and set the text color to white. ChatGPT automatically determined that white text looks good on a blue background. It's awesome, right? And it also added the text red 500 class to make the feedback red. Now let's replace the code with the newly generated code. In the browser, we can see that the background is now blue and the text is white. The feedback is also in red. So there is a small problem though. We can't see the text we type in the text box cause the text is white. So let's fix this by adding the text gray 700 class to this input tag. Now save this and back to the browser. Now everything is working as we expected. Alright, next let's apply the blue background color to this whole screen. We can do this by adding the h-screen tailwind css utility class to this div. Now our word scramble games looks awesome. Alright, next I ask ChatGPT to center the content horizontally and vertically within the browser window. As you can see, ChatGPT rewrote the HTML code and added new Tailwind classes to achieve this. So when we replace the old classes with the new ones, the layout didn't look quite right. To fix this, we added the flex called Tailwind class, which made the layout look perfect. The content is now centered horizontally and vertically within the browser window. So this is amazing. All we had to do was ask ChatGPT for the solution and it provides us the correct code. Awesome, right? After this, again I asked ChatGPT to convert the word variable to an array so that we could store more words to scramble. So ChatGPT provided me with the guide and code on how to do this. But as a beginner, I wasn't sure where to put the code or modify my code inside my Angular application. So again I asked ChatGPT to write the full code for me. So as you can see, ChatGPT started writing the full code. So guys, note this, for a single response, ChatGPT typically provides about 500 words of information. Right? If ChatGPT stops giving the response, you can ask it to continue from the last response. Right? This time when I asked ChatGPT to write the full code, it included the new feature of the array variable automatically. 
This is cause ChatGPT remembers our previous chats and provide output based on that chat history. So with this full code, I can understand what's happening. ChatGPT created a new array variable called words and assigned a random value from the words array to the word variable. These are the only changes we want to make to the code. So we will add the modifications. So now inside the browser in our word game, we have a few different words to play with, right? All right, so after this, I want to add a new function to our Angular World Scramble game that would allow it to automatically move on to the next word after the user correctly guessed the current one. So I asked ChatGPT for help and received the function code in seconds. The function called next word is meant to be called from the check guess function when the answer is correct. Code provided by ChatGPT is very easy to understand even for a beginners thanks to the clear and concise explanations. After making the necessary modifications, we can see that the game now automatically moves on to the next word when the current one is correctly guessed. However, we may occasionally see the same word again due to the small size of our word array list. So after this, I asked ChatGPT to add the scorecard and timer function to enhance our Angular word scrambling game. So ChatGPT provided me with the full code and a clear explanation on how to implement these features. It instructed me to create a two new variables, one for the score and one for the time left. Then it gave me a function to set the timer and showed me how to call this set interval method. Next, ChatGPT provided the code for implementing the scorecard function. It also included HTML code for displaying on the score and timer. Everything was generated by ChatGPT, which is impressive. I copied and pasted the code and made the necessary modifications. However, I encountered an error because the interval variable was not defined globally. So I fixed this by defining the variable globally. Then I modified the HTML code and saved my changes. When I returned to the browser, I saw that the timer and scorecard were displayed as we expected. The score increased by 1 when I typed the correct answer and the timer was running. Overall, the enhancement worked perfectly. So now that we implemented a timer and scorecard in our Angular Word Scramble game, I wanted to add another feature where the game ends when the time reaches the zero and a game over message is displayed along with the button to start a new game. So to do this, I asked ChatGPT for guidance and it provided me with the necessary code and instructions. According to these instructions, I create a boolean variable called GameOver to track the game state. Inside the start timer function, I set the GameOver variable to true when the timer reach zero. So after this, using the ngf directive, I implemented the GameOver screen in the view.
So ChatGPT also provided the code for the button and the new game function. So after adding these modifications, the game now display the game over screen when the timer ends. Finally, I asked ChatGPT to help me display the user's score on the game over screen and it provided the necessary codes to do so. So with these updates our angular word scrambled game is completed and fully functional. So guys we have successfully completed our angular word scrambled game using ChatGPT without writing a single line of our own code or logic. So ChatGPT provides us with the full guide on how to do this. At first, it gave us a simple functional game with a simple layout design using the Tailwind CSS. After that, it helped us to take the Angular game app to the next level by adding additional features and styles. Almost every code generated by ChatGPT was accurate and worked without any bugs. So as a developer using ChatGPT, we can save us a lot of time and energy when developing projects like this. In this video, we choose to develop a simple game using Angular, but ChatGPT's use cases are limitless. You can do anything that comes to your mind. Build any website or app in any language with ChatGPT. Just build a conversation and take its help step by step without asking it to write the full code at once. In conclusion, ChatGPT is a powerful and useful tool for developers. It can help generate code, troubleshoot errors, and provide guidance on implementations. So in our case, ChatGPT was able to assist us in the development of an Angular word scramble game, providing all necessary code and explanations for each step of the process. It even went above and beyond by adding additional features and improving the design of the game. Overall, ChatGPT proved to be an invaluable resource in the creation of this project. The million dollar question is whether ChatGPT can replace the job of developers. The answer is no. It is important to note that ChatGPT is a tool that can assist developers in writing code and troubleshooting issues, like our video example. ChatGPT helps us to build an Angular game, but it's not intended to replace the role of a developer. Developers still play a crucial role in the design and development of software systems. While ChatGPT can provide helpful code examples and explanations, it is up to the developers to understand and properly implement the code in their projects. Additionally, developers are responsible for testing, debugging, and maintaining the code they write. ChatGPT is a valuable resource for developers, but it cannot replace the expertise and creativity that a human developer brings to a project. Right? So don't worry about ChatGPT replacing your job as a developer. Once again guys, I am telling you that ChatGPT is not meant to replace the role of a developer, right? So ChatGPT can be a valuable resource for developers, but it cannot replace the expertise and creativity that a human developer brings to a project. New technologies can be beneficial as they can save time and shape the world, but they can also have drawbacks. So guys, don't let a small percentage of disadvantages deter you from the many advantages that these tools offer. So keep up with new technology revolutions and adapt them to help you reach your goals faster. So that's the idea. So that's it for this video. So guys, hope you guys found this video helpful. If this content is worth, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So this is it this for video, we'll meet you with another awesome video like this, until then, learn smart, not hard.